on page eight, 186, number 12, we've got a book publisher that's got, that's uh, on average, that one page out of eight contains at least one spelling error. So that's uh, at least one spelling error is one eighth. And then one page in five contains at least one punctuation error. So one fifth for that probability. And we're gonna check 480 pages. So that's our N, that's the trials. Part A says how many pages are expected to contain at least one of both types of error. Well, both types of error is going to be the probability of spelling times the probability of punctuation, which is one eighth times one fifth, which is going to be one fortieth. Now, this is a binomial distribution. We've got trials and two possibilities for success. So we're going to find the expected value by taking n times p, or in this case, 1 40th times 480, and we're going to get 12 is our expected value of pages with both kinds of errors. Now, part B, number one, first error occurs on the 10th page. This is a switch. Now we're talking about a geometric distribution. The probability is 1 8th because it's a spelling error. And we're looking at x being greater than 10. It doesn't have to happen on the 10th. It happens after the 10th. This is going to be q to the r. So the probability of failure is going to be 7 8th. And we're raising it to the 10th power. And then that's going to give us the probability of 0 0.26307 or 0 0.263. And then part 2 of b, the first punctuation error occurs before the 10th page. This is also geometric, and it's changing. Now we're talking about punctuation, so probability is one-fifth, but we're talking about less than 10. Well, we've got the other rule, which is us that are equal to r, is one minus q to the r. So we've got to switch this to less than or equal to. Well, x is less than or equal to nine is the same thing as being less than 10. So now I can use one minus four-fifths to the ninth, and I find out the probability for that is 0.86578 or 0.866. And then part three, the tenth page is the first to contain both types of error. So again, we got a geometric, the both probability is 1 40th. And the first page is the tenth. So that means we're trying to find the probability that x equals 10. We're going to use this formula here, 1 40th. 39 for this, and then it's going to be 10 minus 1, or to the ninth power. And we're going to find out that probability is going to be 0 0.019905, or 0 0.0199 to three significant figures. All right, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.